It's Thursday night in downtown Denver, Colorado, and the city's newest karaoke bar is heating up. Oh, yeah, life goes on. Some here are passionate about karaoke. It sort of lets you let your wild side out. You just queue up different songs, and you can just go from there and just belt it out and sing to your heart's content. But this isn't your typical American karaoke bar. You don't have to worry about strangers seeing you. You don't have to wait three hours to sing your song. This is private sweet karaoke. The place is called Voice Box. It's 10 soundproof disco ball and laser light filled rooms where you can make a fool of yourself in front of your friends, but not anyone else. It's a lot more of, I would say, like a campfire sing along atmosphere than like a performance. Laura uh, Schwally have, like, is Voice Box's general manager. Every now and then she says the concept is catching on. Once you try it, then you're like, this is the best way to do karaoke. Business has been good for Voice Box. They started in Portland, Oregon. They've been busy here in Denver. On weekends, karaoke suites are often booked three weeks in advance. <laughs> This style of karaoke, which has also popped up in other U.S. cities, has long been the norm in Asia, where karaoke box suites can fill entire hotels. Gonna use my arms. The movie Lost in Translation gave Americans a glimpse of karaoke that's very different from the one they're used to. A lot of this kind of dread sets in when you get up on stage. You have a lot of this liquid courage when you first start. You actually have the shade. Then, she says, things tend to go downhill. Now anyone can sing along to Destiny's Child. If you're just in a room with the people that you already wanted to hang out with in the first place, then singing that song is no problem at all. Voicebox has a database of almost 68,000 songs, which can all be called up from a smartphone. You never know what you'll hear in one of these suites. It'll start with normal pop songs or 80s songs to get it going, and then it usually just regresses down to like, songs that you're into when you're like 12 years old. It'll be a lot of people like singing Disney at 2 a.m. after they've had too many cocktails. This is by far the most requested song around here. The journey to a new, more personal form of karaoke is underway. Yeah, I absolutely think this is a concept that could catch on. This could be karaoke's U.S. future. Hendrik Sabrandi, Denver.